Good evening, I'm Kirk Gugsell. Saturday marked the end of the regular baseball season for Southridge and Jasper. The Raiders fell to Central 7-4. Jasper swept. So come Saturday, Rooks are field 5-0 and 14-0. Jasper and Southridge play each other in the 3A sectional at Rooks are field on Wednesday night. The 16-team Wildcat Invitational Golf Tournament held out at Sultan's Run on Saturday. The Jasper Wildcats tied for first but lost via the tiebreaker. Luke Shepard was the medalist with an even par 72. Jasper teammate Caleb Schneer a 75. Elsewhere for the Wildcats, Levi Welp an 81. Thomas Seger 86. Forrest Park was eighth overall at 347. Xander Flagg had a 85 for the uh, Ra Rangers, I should say. Uh, Colin Lorai, personal best, uh, 82, while Ben Rashi had an 88 for the Rangers as well. Softball sectional play beginning tonight at Southridge in 3A. Pike Central taking on Heritage Hill, Southridge in Washington in game two. Over at Cedar Crest, hosted by Forest Park, Tell City in Modern Day, Perry Central will play South Spencer. Class A at Northeast Dubois. Dubois takes on the Springs Valley Blackhawks. The Pacers advance to the Eastern Conference Finals after blowing out the New York Knicks 130-109 at Madison Square Garden in Game 7. Of that playoff series, Tyrese Halliburton had 26 points, 6 assists. Pascal Siakam, Andrew Nebhardt added 20. Dante DiVincenzo led all scores with 39 for the Knicks. Indiana in the conference finals for the first time since 2014. They will visit the Celtics for Game 1 tomorrow night at TD Garden. Shifting over to Big League Baseball, the Cardinals play tonight. They'll be at home with the Baltimore Orioles. Dean Kramer against the Cardinals. Sonny Gray, Reds Idol. They start a series with the Padres tomorrow. Cubs also enjoy a night off. They'll be at home with the Atlanta Braves starting tomorrow at Wrigley Field. The Indianapolis 500 just days away, and yesterday, an IMS track record was set in qualifying. Scott McLaughlin is on the pole for the May 26th event. The Team Penske driver had a four-lap average speed of 234.220 miles per hour. McLaughlin nudged out 2023 IndyCar champion Alex Pillow, whose four-lap average was 234. .217 in 2023. Fellow Team Penske drivers Will Power and Joseph Newgarden round out the front row with Power qualifying second and Newgarden last year's race winner qualifying third. Joey Logano, the winner of yesterday's NASCAR All-Star race from North Wilkesboro Speedway. The 22 dominated the race and led all but one lap. Logano staved off Denny Hamlin and Chris Boucher to earn the $1 million cash prize. Kyle Larson and Ryan Blaney routed out the top five. This week, the boys head to Charlotte for the big Coca-Cola 600. Stay tuned. We're back with more after this.